Hey people, it's Nias Toki. Now, it's been a while since I've done any proper Afrocentric, I mean, African stories featuring tri- China's takeover. So, I'm going to do one about Zambia. Now, I want to put in a disclaimer. Now, a story came out in Xinhua, this state-owned Chinese media company, which claims, which the, where the Zambians claim that these stories aren't true, but I believe they are. Because what's that thing they always say? Don't believe anything until it's been officially denied? That's what I'm going by. So this is from Face to Face Africa. It's Zambia, Africa's first casualty in China's takeover after defaulting on loan payment. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm a bit sick. Zambia's power company, Zesco, is said to be among the first casualties of China's takeover after default on loan repayment. A report indicates a report by Africa Confidential titles bills, bonds, and even bigger debts claims that Zambia is in talks with China over a possible takeover of the electricity company. The report also says that the national broadcaster ZNBC is already owned and run by China. I believe it is, yeah. A major worry of the IMF and the US is that China's BRI strategy is first to encourage indebtedness and then to take over strategic national assets when debtors default on repayments. The state electricity company Zesco is already in talks about a takeover by a Chinese company. AC has learned... The state-owned TV and radio news channel ZNBC is already Chinese-owned. The long-term outcome would be effective Chinese ownership of the commanding heights of the economy, and potentially the biggest loss of national sovereignty since independence. Now, first off, what the IMF said, look, the IMF and the US are playing the same game. They make loans they can't pay back, and in return, they want everything. Now, secondly, this is what I've been talking about. Remember my previous videos that talked about full spectrum dominance, military, economic, food, political? This is now the economic. You control the electricity grid. I mean, think about it. Imagine that China wanted to just completely shut down the economy one day. Imagine they had control of the power stations and they could just, using computers, switch them off. The entire economy shuts down. No money transactions no traffic lights, no nothing. Complete countries completely gridlocked, broken down. You see what I mean? And that's because they own the power. And the second thing that uh, the state-owned TV and radio news, ZNBC is already Chinese-owned. Okay, so they now control the media. So <coughs> in, Z- in Zambia. So imagine this. They can now project images of the Chinese as benevolent good guys or derogatory images of Zambians as primitive savages. Hey, I mean, if you own it, you can do whatever you want, right? Anyway. Uh, let's go. Zambia is one of the African nations that was in China earlier this week for the African, uh, China-Africa Summit and President Edgar Lunga is reported to have gone back home after visiting a number of Chinese companies and after receiving a grant of $30 million for the Lusaka East Multi-Facility Economic Zone Electrification Project. The Africa Confidential Report also indicates that a number of projects in Zambia are financed by China, even though the amount of debt has been piling over the years. Since President Edgar Lunga came to power, Zambia has signed off on at least $8 billion in Chinese project finance, over $5 billion. This has not been added to the total because Zambia insists the money has not been dispersed and more large loans are in the pipeline. Yet the finance ministry does not have the capacity inside a state to police, let alone stem all the spending. In some cases, the financial penalties for holding disbursement on projects would outweigh the savings. Donor governments have offered technical assistance to bring the project debt mounted under control but have been rebuffed. However, Zambia's Minister of Energy... Matthew Nukwa has come out to publish a report stating that such a sale would not go through because it must be vetted by the cabinet. He further added that the company is a national asset with a massive valuation and cannot be sold. Nonsense. Everything can be, say, uh, can be sold, especially when China already owns the country through its massive debt. <laughs> See, they're talking, but the ship has sailed from has sunk beneath them. <sighs> There is no such decision by cabinet. As you know, Zesco is such a huge company. Anything to do with it will have to be decided by cabinet. And I confirm to you that there have been not been anything decided on the future of Zesco. Mr. Nakua said, China has, not, has been considered a good partner by many African governments. 
However, concerns have been on the rise in regards to debt and treatment of Africans by the Chinese. In Kenya, revelations of racism at the China-funded standard gauge railway not only shocked many, but also uncovered a series of issues that African governments need to address. Western company, countries have also raised concerns about Africa's debt to China, but it has stopped them from presenting their own loans and parties to the country if the recent visits by Western leaders are anything to go by. Okay. <laughs> we, everything has to be proved by the cabinet. It's completely nonsensical. You know, this reminds me of what Machiavelli said about ancient Rome, where you know, the soldiers, the Roman army, was the dominant force in the entire Roman Empire. If you wanted to have power, you needed to have their support. See Emperor Claudius for what I'm talking about. <clears throat> now you say, oh, we need the cabinet to sign off. Listen, Zambia is not that far from Zimbabwe. It's also in Africa. So, if you don't know, the, Zim the Chinese had a big point to play in Mugabe's overthrow. You know, they were very big, what do you call it, there was a lot of military involvement. I mean, they didn't directly do it, but the Chinese have been invited in to Zimbabwe by Mugabe, and he took over, I and mean, they slowly took over, like rats sitting into a building. And they eventually said, well, we could run this better than you. Why do we need a puppet when we can just run it ourselves? So they got him to do it. Now, they're, try they're trying to extend the network. Zambia will become the next Zimbabwe. I'm telling you now. And I've said to you that this is a long campaign. China is on a mission of full spectrum dominance. Every African nation will be completely controlled for its resources to give to make sure Africa's world supremacy because China cannot give all its resources, let alone food, by itself. China has poisoned huge amounts of its farmland, so it cannot supply its own food. A lot of people don't understand, but China, most Chinese people do not trust food made in China. You know, th that's why they're so eager to get food made in America, Europe, Africa. And you know that image of uh, <coughs> the American flag over Okinawa? One day, if the Chinese have their way, they will be flying the Chinese flag over the pyramids, the final symbol of complete and total domination of the African continent by the Chinese. They have to, for those of you, my listeners in Africa, the Chinese must be boycotted and you must resist the encroachment of the Chinese onto the sovereignty of the African nation. All right, if you like this commentary, and if you like this video, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe if you want to support this video. Please, my PayPal is in the description. Peace, family.